or awake, the seed sprouts and grows, but he does not understand understand how it happens. The earth produces the crops on its own. First, a leaf blade pushes through, then the heads of a wheat are formed, and finally, the grain ripens. And as soon as the grain is ready, the farmer comes and harvests it with a sickle, for the harvest time has come. This parable, Jesus shows the way the Word of God works with hidden and mysterious power, just like a seed. The Bible isn't just an instruction manual or a list of rules to follow. It lives and works in itself, its life into us. The Word will produce spiritual fruits, and after the initial onset, it will turn into a great big harvest, a soul-winning harvest. Therefore, we should never despise the day of small beginnings, Zechariah 4 and 10. Continue to plant those seeds and allow God to bring the increase. On today's War Cry Cry Focus, I want us to examine the seeds that we are sowing. We want to reevaluate the seeds we plant, re evaluate the seeds we plant. Reevaluate means to evaluate again. When we are rebuilding the temple, we have to reevaluate our firm foundation. We need to look deep within and see why the foundation was shaken, why the temple was shaken. So now we're rebuilding our tabernacle. We're going to reevaluate those seeds that we are planting. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, God. God, we love you this morning, Father. Father, there's none like you this morning, God. We give you a hallelujah, God. A hallelujah deep down in our spirit, man, Father God. A hallelujah being grateful that we yet have another day to give your name praise, another day to reevaluate the seeds that we're planting, God. Reevaluate this word that you have given us, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we're so grateful for you. We're so grateful that you are sitting amongst us, God, that you came, Father God, and you want to dwell with us, God, on today, Father God, that your Holy Spirit knows that it is welcome here. Welcome in this place. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. We can't fight the enemy. We can't fight principalities and powers without your help, God, without your anointing. For the power lieth in you, Father God. It is not by might nor by power, but by your spirit, Father God. So we're asking you on today, God, that you, Father God, know that you are our master, God. You know how to make the raging winds obey you, Father God. So we thank you, God, that the winds are settling down, God. We thank you that you are our Lord and Savior, God. We thank you that you are our present help in the time of trouble. We thank you, God, that the storm, Father God, you just have to speak to it and it will be calm, God. Oh, God, Father, thy word have we hidden in our hearts that we may not sin against thee, God, because your word says men don't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So we're asking you, God, that let your word permeate the atmosphere, God. Let your word, Father God, return not void, God, in the name of Jesus. That word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path, Father God. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, Father God. And God, we think that we have a heart and a mind to worship you at 6 a.m., Father God, every morning, Father Father God, that we have a heart to worship you, God, today. We have a heart to say hallelujah on today, God, because it's your word that has been keeping us. It's your word that has been guiding us. It's your word that has been directing us, God. In the name of Jesus, deep calls on to deep. So we we need clarity, God, and understanding of the mysteries of God, God, and the sowing of the seed, Father God, is a mystery, God. It's a mystery how 
tabernacle, what things we spoke out and what things we did to ruin the tabernacle, God. In the name of Jesus, we are in the dispensation of the church, like Revelations 2 and 3 declares, God. So we ask you today to forgive us for being lukewarm Christians. Forgive us for forgetting our first love. Forgive us for compromising our belief, God. Forgive us for having itching ears and following false sensual doctrine, God, and being led astray like silly. 
thank you that you're leading them. I thank you that you're protecting them. I thank you that you're guiding them. I lift them up before you in the name of Jesus, God. I know Corona won't touch them. I know they're out there as essential workers, God. I'm asking you to touch Nawati. I'm asking you to touch Maxine. I'm t- asking you to touch Mario. I'm t- asking you to touch Joshua. I'm asking you to touch Nigel. I'm asking you to touch Yami, God. I'm asking you to touch Daniel. I'm asking you to touch Danny. They're volunteering their life, God. They're going out there, God. They're fighting our adversary, God. And I'm asking you to put on, help them to put on the whole armor of God that they can stand against the walls of the devil, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we give all to you, God. We know that you are way maker. Oh, I'm the promise keeper, God. Oh God, we thank you, God. They've seen enough death. They've seen enough hurt. They've seen enough pain. They've seen enough poverty. They've seen enough oppression. Oh God, I'm thanking you. Help them today. Help them like never before. Touch the New York doctors. Touch those in the homeless shelter. I pray for my best friend Aisha, God, who works in the homeless shelter. I'm asking you to break every shackle in the name of Jesus. Help her, God. Help her to feed the homeless. Help her to give a place for the homeless to live, God. In the name of Jesus, I'm asking everybody on the prayer line today, dedicate this day to pray for New York. In the name of Jesus, I command a revival in New York. We'll be sober. We will be vigilant because our adversary, the devil, is like a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he can devour, God. And I thank you that the angels of the Lord will be with us on this day. We are not ashamed of the gospel. We declare and declare, decree that we will be bold and courageous about the gospel for the edification of the body and for bringing hope and salvation to the nations. We take this opportunity to reevaluate the seeds we are planting, that we will allow your word to lead and guide us for its seed time and harvest this week. Watch how we minister one to another. Are we using the word as a guide? The word bears fruit and then a harvest. May your harvest be plentiful. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God.